Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to make some real horror money? Sit back, relax and watch. Now here's your host, Mormozine. Hello friend, I'm Mormozine, your horror host. And today on the show Horror Cash, we're going to be talking about CPA marketing and how you can make money with CPA marketing. And this is something I've tried, haven't been all that successful with, because it takes a lot of traffic to get there. I mean, I got one or two actions completed, but never enough to really cash out and get paid. But uh, we'll watch these videos and learn together, and uh, maybe we can figure this thing out together and make some fucking big bucks. So now... Let's go ahead and watch the first video. It has never been easier to make money with CPA. What exactly does CPA stand for? It has simply cost per action. You are paid whenever someone completes an offer whether it is a sale or a lead using your referral link. There are many CPA companies available to choose from, each having dozens or even hundreds offers. Throughout this guide I'll be introducing you to a variety of techniques and strategies that you can use to profit substantially from CPA. These are all strategies that I have personally used to make money online with CPA offers. Nothing is left to the imagination. Upon completing the reading of this ebook you will have a clear understanding of what it takes to profit from CPA offers and will be able to get started promoting. It is possible you've completed CPA offers in the past and didn't you realize that you were literally giving the person money just from you downloading a software application, or inputting your zip code or email address into a form. It is really amazing that something as simple as entering your email address into a form with one field can result in being paid up to $1.50 in most cases. When you join a CPA company what you are basically doing is aiding that company in promoting the advertisers that have registered with that company to have their product or service promoted. CPA companies break down their service into two categories. Category 1 is the advertisers. These are the companies that have paid the CPA company to promote their product. In most cases they have prepaid a deposit to have their product or service promoted. Once the deposit is made and the offer goes live within the CPA company S database, it is made available for the second category. Category 2 is the publishers. As noted, the advertisers have their company listed with the CPA company S database, so now it is available for the publishers to start promoting. The publishers are the promoters. You will be the publisher as you will be promoting the offers listed within the CPA company S database by the advertisers. That is basically how the CPA networks work. You have the advertisers and the publishers. It is also important to note that some CPA offers will have restrictions, so all the methods that will be mentioned in this report may not apply to each offer that is available. For example, some offers may be restricted to being promoted via email only, while others may be for web and search only. When an advertiser has set up their offer, they have the option of selecting the modes of promotion that they allow for their offer. Email only offers are primarily for those who have newsletters and a mailing list to promote the advertiser's offers. While web is for the on-site banner placement, and search is mainly for those advertising through pay-per-click search engines. ULL have the option as a publisher to go through and select the offers that meet your specifications in terms of mode of promotion. When you join the various CPA networks ULL realize that some offers will be available in more than one CPA network. For example, CPA Network A may have the same offer as CPA Network B. The difference between the two offers may be the payout that one network is offering. That is why it is important that you join more than one CPA network. Don't you put all your eggs in one basket. You will need to join as many networks as possible, so you can review all the offers available in each network and select the one that is paying the most for the offer you would like to promote. 
In the next section, I'll be introducing you to a step-by-step -step approach to getting accepted into the CPA networks. All right, friends, so there's a description of what CPA is, its cost per action, and it's where a company will pay you to promote their link, and then if somebody clicks on the link, if they um, enter their email address or zip code, you get paid. If they download an app, you get paid. Like I know there's video game apps and stuff. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and post a CPA link in my uh, description. And if you want to help out the channel, you can check it out and see what you think. Uh, anyways, next they're going to talk about how you can get accepted into CPA programs. And it's really not that hard. My humble little website got accepted into quite a few different CPA networks. And they still send me um, emails all the time talking about what offers they have and everything. And uh, so let's go ahead and watch the next video now. Before you apply to any CPA network, it's very important that you have a clear understanding of how you will be promoting the offers available within the CPA network. Most networks like to work with seasoned veterans within the marketing industry, so it is going to be important that you do not appear to be a newbie when it comes to marketing. You will need to understand certain basic concepts. Modes of promotion. When you review an application form for a CPA network, you will find a listing of the types of promotion that you can select from as your means of promoting the offers. Upon analyzing the screenshot above it shows the modes of promotion that are accepted by most CPA networks. You have the option for bannered displays, pop-ups, text links, PPC, CO, standalone emails and newsletter advertising. You will have to decide which option ULL be using to promote the CPA offers. Since at this stage it is possible that you do not know which mode ULL be using, it is always best to select banners, text links, and PPC as the options ULL be using for promoting the CPA offers. Once accepted you can always add more options to the list. Your job is to ensure you get accepted into the network as quickly as possible and show them that you actually know what you are doing. The first step before applying for any CPA network is to have a professional website set up. If you have an old domain name just sitting around, then it's time to make use of that domain name. The older the domain name the better, as it can appear to be a site that was in existence for a long time. Also create an email address based off that domain name, that is the email address ULL be using to contact them, as it is more professional. Do not use a free email address as your mode of contact via email. What you'll be doing is setting up this website to be a blog. You can use WordPress that is available for free as your content management script to make things easy to set up. The reason you are setting up the site as a blog is simply because it has a quick and painless process and with some of the great free themes available online, it can look professional without you having to do a lot of work. Once you have WordPress set up and installed on your site, you'll need a theme to use. Review those three sites to find a free theme that you can use on your blog. Upon selecting your theme and setting up your blog, then of course ULL need to select a niche or topic for the blog, along with having content. This is pretty easy since you are not setting up this blog to be a site that is going to make you money necessarily, but simply to show the CPA networks that you have a professional site that will allow you to get approved quickly. Later. We can work on sites set up specifically for the CPA offers ULL be promoting. The role of this site is just to have a dummy site more or less that you can use to get accepted by any CPA network. For the content of the blog, you can use PLR articles. There are many sites that offer free PLR articles that you can freely download and use on your blog. Most of these sites that offer free PLR articles will request that you sign up to their newsletter but it is a small price to pay for getting free content that you can use for the setup of your blog. Just as a quick note, 
PLR simply means private label rights. You are receiving permission to edit and use the downloaded content on your website. The content you will be provided from these three websites will be more than enough to fill your blog with high quality content that can make your blog look professional. Of course you have the option of writing about 10 articles on your own to fill your blog, but if you are looking to get started as quickly as possible, you can download articles from these sites. You should have at least 10 articles on your blog and have it set up in a very neat format. Do not display any ads on the blog, just ensure that what you VA set up looks neat and organized. Be sure to have a privacy policy and contact form on your blog. You can have this set up automatically by using the privacy policy plugin and contact form plugin that are available for WordPress. All right, so yeah, in order to get accepted by the different CPA networks, you'll definitely want to have a website. The, uh, the video we just watched is saying to do a WordPress website with PLL artic PLR articles and stuff. But you can also just use a Weebly website. That's what I used. And I got accepted to all of the different um, CPA networks I applied for. So you just set up a website in whatever niche you're going for. And then uh, you want to call. Like you call the place and they'll call you. And give you a, they'll give you a short interview and stuff. And uh, then you're all set and ready to go. So just get your website up and going before you apply to the CPA network. And let's watch the next video now. Choosing the right offers. So you've already gone through and applied to the various CPA networks. The list is very extensive and may change from time to time since some networks do go out of business or merge. The networks that IDE listed with the star are the ones that IDE used consistently and have had no issues with being paid, so those are the ones that I would recommend you get started with first, but remember you want to get into at least 10 of the networks so apply to as many as feasibly possible. Now that you've been accepted into a few networks, it is now time to go about selecting CPA offers that will bring in the cash that you are looking for. Let us first go over the types of offers that you will find in the typical CPA network. Category 1, Email and Zip Submits. This category is of course the easiest to convert but is also the lowest paying option available. ULL need massive volume to start making substantial money using Zip and Email Submits. The typical email submit will pay you around $1. 50 in the typical Zip Submit will pay around $1. 20 on average. Those payout rates will vary based on the network. The easiest offer to convert from my experience is a zip submit offers. All the person has to do is submit their zip code into a form field and you are paid. It is just that simple, of course the issue here is that you need to generate targeted traffic. From my experience zip submits convert at around 40 to 50 percent so you should be looking to generate as much targeted traffic to these offers. When a person enters their zip code, you get paid, but there is a continuation to the form, so you want to make sure that the traffic that you are delivering to your zip submit offers is highly targeted. It is very important that your leads convert into a full lead sale for the advertiser. You are not paid extra when it does, but it keeps the advertisers happy, so quality is a must. With that said, many people are making money with fake leads. I do not recommend this as in the long run, it'll hurt you. Do not be tempted to get your friends and family start visiting your offers and entering their zip codes and email addresses. Eventually it can lead to you getting terminated from the affiliate network or at minimum being banned from promoting any further zip submit offers. Deliver true traffic and you can start making some serious money with zip submit offers. Below is an example of a typical zip submit offer. The person has to simply enter their zip code, you get paid, and they move on throughout the process of getting their free dinner for two. Of course the person does not get a free dinner for two just for simply entering their zip code. You get paid for them doing that, but for the user to get their free dinner, 
they more than likely need to complete a couple of free non-obligation offers. That is usually the catch with zip and email submit offers. Even though zip submits are good, you won't find as many when compared to email submit offers. These offers are available in abundance and usually pay a few cents more than zip submit offers. When a person submits their email address you are paid and just like the zip submit offer, they need to complete a few free offers to be eligible to claim their prize. Unlike zip submit offers, there is a bit more value in email submits, as even if the person does not go on to continue the offer, at least their email address was captured, and along with agreeing to the privacy policy of the offer, the advertiser now has a new lead that they can market their products and services to. That is basically how email submit works. Your goal is to throw as much targeted traffic to the offer as possible. IVE found that the conversion rate is a bit lower than the zip submits, so you can expect a conversion rate of approximately 30 to 35 percent on most email submit offers. All right, friends, so as you can see, there's two different offers you can make money with, an email submit or a zip submit. They punch in their zip code. You get paid, they punch in their email, you get paid. And then in order to get their free thing, they have to do other stuff too. But And you just send traffic to these offers. You send people to these offers, targeted traffic, and, uh, and then they convert at different rates and stuff. And let's go ahead and watch the next video now. Category 2, Financial Offers. Most CPA networks will have a section of offers that cater specifically to financial offers. These offers will range from credit scores, credit cards, loans, payday loans, and debt relief. These are usually very high paying offers and can be high converting if you target them correctly. Keep in mind these offers do not require the person to purchase anything. These are usually lead type offers. So you are basically paid for the person to submit their name, address, telephone number, and other information into a form. Let us review a few of the types of offers available. Credit score offers. With these types of offers, the user has to sign up for a free credit report which includes credit monitoring. Since the credit monitoring is a free trial, the user has to input a credit card since after the free trial the monitoring is charged to the card on file. ULL be paid from $15 to $20 for every person that signs up for the offer through your affiliate link. IVE had conversions in the range of 5 to 10% on these offers. The reason the conversion is in that range is due to the user having to input their credit card. This lowers your conversion. If you are targeting users who are actively seeking their credit report, that rate can increase, but again it is a matter of pre-selling the user. To pre-sell credit score offers, you should write about the importance of checking your score, and if you VE have active monitoring, you can talk about how it has benefited you. Basically you are recommending the service beforehand, so that by the time they reach the offer, they are looking to sign up. This will increase your conversion on these types of offers. Debt Relief Offers I like these offers since you can truly pre-sell the user on the benefit of eliminating debt. The economy as it is today, debt seems to be a severe problem, and most people are looking to reduce their debt as much as possible. On your blog you can make a post about various ways of reducing debt and recommend the CPA offer. Of course, you do this in a subtle way, as you do not want to come off as a car salesman pushing the person to complete the offer. These offers range from $15 to $25 for every person you refer. If you have a blog that is geared towards debt relief, you should be able to get a few people each day to complete the offer. It is very important that whatever offer you decide to promote that your blog post or blog niche in general be specific to the offer. This will definitely increase your conversion. With debt relief it is also good to share a personal story. It can be your own story, or a story of a friend. 
You just need to ensure that it is personable, engaging, and that the end result shows the importance of debt relief. That can also act as your pre-sale without having to push the user into the debt relief offer. It will be basically your goal to input the importance of debt relief into your visitor's head that will then lead them into completing your CPA offer. When selecting a debt relief offer, be sure to review all the offers available within each network. You want to select one that pays high, but that the actual landing page has clear instructions regarding what the user needs to do to complete the offer. Select the landing page that you believe will result in the most conversions. If after selecting an offer and it is not converting, switch to another one to see how that one performs. Test each offer for one week to get an idea which one is performing the best, and then stick with the best performing offer. Do not settle on one offer without first testing a few, as you could be losing out on more money. All right, so yeah, that video was talking about how you can do debt relief and credit score offers and they definitely will have a less of a conversion rate not as many people will sign up and you won't get paid as much or as often i should say but they do pay a lot more when people do sign up because they have to enter their credit card information for a free trial or whatever just drinking my movie drink there and uh, yeah, I'm gonna look, cause I get emails from the CPA companies all the time with their new offers. So I'm gonna go through one of these emails and find a good offer, maybe a video game or some kind of uh, financial offer or something. And then uh, I'll just post the link in the description. And so let's go ahead and watch the next video now. Payday loan offers. This is perhaps one of the highest paying offers out there right now in the financial section. For instance, Neverblue.com has an offer paying you $42 for every payday loan application. If you can generate enough targeted traffic to such CPA offers, you can really make a substantial amount of money. The way to promote a payday loan offer is to relate to the user. On your blog or website you discuss the pros and cons of payday loans and provide tips to the user about ensuring they are approved for the loan, along with tips to get it paid off as quickly as possible. By helping guide the user you are building trust, and they will more than likely sign up with the payday loan that you recommend on your site. It is about building trust with these offers. Most people looking for payday loans are in desperate need and actively looking for help. Your job is to provide insightful information along with recommending them a good payday loan company. You will all be paid for every successful application. If your blog or website is set up to specifically talk about payday loans or just about anything financial in general, you can really stand to make a big profit from these offers. Keep your site as targeted as possible to the CPA offer being promoted and you will see a good conversion rate with the offer. As always, even though I mentioned Neverblue. Calm. There are other networks that offer payday loan offers as well. Be sure to review each network and select the one that you believe will convert. Again, you should split test your offers and then stick with the highest converting offer. Category 3, Weight Loss Offers. The weight loss market is huge right now. Everyone is looking to lose weight, shed fat, and basically look better overall. That means that the opportunity to make some serious cash with weight loss related offers is at its peak. People are buying all kinds of offers hoping to reach their weight loss goals. I know that most people may think that the weight loss market is saturated. It is true that there are tons of offers out there, but there is a reason for that. It simply means that it is working. The average person does not buy just one offer or product. They usually buy multiple products hoping that at least one of them works. Since that is the case, promoting CPA offers that deal with weight loss can be extremely lucrative. Weight loss offers will range from $25 to $35 and usually convert in the 1 to 5% range. The conversion ratio has not been that great, but with enough traffic being generated to your offer, those $35 sales add up pretty quickly. Right now. The hottest product for weight loss is acai berry offers. 
by far the most popular product on the market due to all the hype and discussions made about it on national television. Oprah Winfrey, Rachel Ray, and others have all mentioned the benefits of acai berry on their show. This has led to many acai berry products being developed. Every major CPA network has an acai berry product available. The payout is usually in the $30 per sale range. The best part of the acai berry offers is that most of them offer a free trial so the cost to the user is usually in the $4.95-$5.95 95 range, which helps your conversion. The buyer of the product only has to pay shipping and handling to get their first bottle. With this being a major selling point, the conversion rate on these products is higher than traditional weight loss products. Category 4, Skincare and Anti-Aging this is a very niche specific category as it usually targets women who are starting to see the effects of age on their skin. The main demographic is women over the age of 45 in most cases. With that said, there are many products that state their product helps to eliminate wrinkles and age spots. Your goal is to find anti-aging products that complement each other well. That way you can recommend both products on your blog and receive two sales instead of one. For example, you can find an offer that helps with eliminating wrinkles, and then find a follow-up product that helps with moisture rising or some other kind of benefit. On your site, you will write about the true benefits for product number one, discuss how it has benefited you or someone you know, that is if you have tried the product. If you have not then you can generalize the benefits based off of what the manufacturer of the product has stated. If you can find reviews for the product as well, you can use those as part of your pre-sale pitch. Then after mentioning product number one, you mention product number two as an addition to their overall skincare needs. By combining the two, you are increasing your sales potential. So instead of just making $30 on product number one, you can earn $60 in total sales. That is providing both offers are $30 per sale products. What is good about the skincare market is that most of the offers also have a free trial. This means that in some cases, the buyer of the product only has to pay shipping and handling. Browse through all the CPA networks that you are a member of, and find the skincare products that offer free trials as these will have higher conversion than those that you have to pay in full. Once you find the two products that offer free trials, these will then be the offers you promote on your site or blog. All right, so yeah, um, weight loss products like a Kai Berry and all that, are great CPA products that people will sign up for and buy. A lot of times there's just a free trial or you pay shipping and handling to get the first sample. And then, then after that, they start charging your customer monthly for their shipment, but maybe they love the product and just keep wanting to get it. And then uh, anti-aging and skin cream. Uh, for the older ladies that are old and wrinkly <laughs> and the weight loss products for the people who are fat and want to lose weight and uh, you just set up a blog slap some articles on it maybe make some YouTube videos and again you can do the PLR method and uh, it's super simple and there's some other options for you to make money with CPA. And now let's watch the next video. Creating your money pages. One of the most profitable ways of making money from CPA is to create niche targeted websites. Earlier I touched briefly on creating blogs and targeting your blog to your CPA offers. I am going to now focus on that in more detail. As usual, my recommended script for creating these sites is WordPress. Now before we proceed to setting up WordPress and creating the site, we need to take a look at the inventory of the CPA companies. Log into your CPA networks and go through the offers available. What you are doing is looking for offers that pay well, have good affiliate banners and images that you can use on your site, along with having a good landing page. For the sake of an example, let us say that we decided we wanted to promote an offer that promotes weight loss. We review the offers in the weight loss category, and we've decided that an Osoe Berry product is the one we LL select. 
In some networks you may have more than one Osoe Berry product available, so we select the one with the best landing page and highest payout that offers a free trial. We have now selected a niche which is weight loss, and a product which is an Osoe Berry product. It is now time to dig deeper into what we LL be talking about on the blog that we are about to set up. To find topics to discuss we need to do some keyword research. By utilizing these tools you can come up with a variety of keyword related topics that you can talk about on your blog. The purpose of the keyword research is to also give your blog the chance to rank high in the search engines under a variety of long tail keywords. In our Osoe Berry example, we input the keyword Osoe Berry into both the Google Keywords external tool and free word tracker. We then analyze the results. Based on the results we LL then take a few of the long tail keywords, which are keywords that have a higher chance of achieving top rankings, along with more buyer-oriented keywords. A buyer-oriented keyword is usually associated with a product name. For example, when I searched for Osoe Berry among the results were Osoe Berry products that were available for sale. These specific product names are what I call buyer-oriented. It means these people are looking for a specific product and more than likely if that product can be shown in a positive light, they will be inclined to buy. A non-buyer keyword would be also eBerry Research. The people who search for that keyword may buy your product, but they may just be looking for more information on also eBerry in general. What you want to target with your blog are those keywords where people are looking to take action. If you wanted to take this a step further you can narrow your keyword research even further by using the keyword by also eBerry this way you are presented with the keywords people are using that want to buy the product now. By focusing on the buy keyword in front of the product category, you are getting the people who are ready to buy. Another tip is to simply replace the word buy with purchase and ULL find another set of people who are ready to buy. You can also input the word review and ULL find people who are looking for feedback, and these people can turn into buyers as well. Now that you've got your keywords, then the next step is to register a keyword-rich domain name that includes the keyword of your niche. In this case the niche is also eBerry so you would want to register a keyword with the keywords also eBerry at the beginning of the domain name. Once you've registered the domain name, you can now begin to set up WordPress and start writing or posting articles that cater specifically to the keywords you have researched. If one of the keywords researched was best SOE Berry to buy then that should be the title of your post, along with providing a short article about the topic. Of course the best SOE Berry to buy that you would be recommending is your CPA offer. You do this for all your buyer keywords and ULL have a blog that focuses on long tail keywords specific to buyers who are going to be interested in the CPA offer that you are promoting. This is the best way to go about creating sites that are based off your CPA offers. This same technique can work for every CPA product that you will be promoting. Your goal is simply to research CPA products, find buyer keywords that relate to your product, register keyword-rich domain name, and post articles on your blog that are based off your keyword research. If you can follow this simple guideline you can create a network of blogs that promote a variety of your CPA offers. This way you will have a blog for every CPA offer you promote. It is important that you do it this way, instead of packing all your CPA offers on one blog. Each site needs to be tailored to your specific CPA offer. IVE had the most success with this approach, and it is one of the fundamentals of building sites that are specific to your CPA offers. All right, so that was another uh, video talking about building your website to promote your CPA offers, talking about keywords and keyword research, and you can use the Google Keyword Planner for that. I have several different softwares I use to do keyword research, including um, TubeBuddy and the Blaster Suite keyword research. And uh, this way you can set up your blog 
and get into keyword research and try and target those good buyer keywords like people who are looking to buy your product whatever your cpa offer is and uh there's it talks a lot about blogging and websites but you can also use youtube to get a lot of traffic so you can do a blog and a youtube post and post the youtube video on your blog and then you just send traffic you just talk to people and send traffic to your blog which has your banners and your links to your cpa offer and you're like recommending people go through your cpa offer to get what they're looking for and uh that's really great you can start a whole network of blogs for all your different cpa offers and have your youtube channel with youtube videos and you send them to your blog rather than your offer directly which is a lot better i think in youtube's eyes and uh that was a really great video and there's a few more people so let's keep watching here's the next video now cpa article cash Another great way of making solid profits from CPA offers is by writing articles and submitting them to article directories. My focus with my article writing has always been as in articles. Com since they generate the most traffic out of all the directories. That is not to say that you cannot have good success with others, it is just that it is my personal favorite. We've already gone through the process of selecting a CPA product. So I am assuming at this stage you will know what offer you would like to promote. To keep the examples uniformed, I am going to go with Asoe Berry again as the example CPA offer. Using the same keyword research that we've done previously, we would now have a set of keywords that we would want to target, and the articles we will be writing will be based off these keywords. By default, you can only submit a maximum of 10 articles to azinarticles.com when you register your first account. You should write 10 high-quality articles that focus on your major keywords and submit them to azinarticles.com. That should be your first step. You need to keep in mind that your resource box needs to be targeted to your CPA product. For example, your article discusses the benefits of Asoe Berry then in your resource box, ULL have text soft promoting your CPA offer. I mentioned soft promoting since you do not want it to sound like a blatant infomercial. Instead make it appear more as a recommendation. It's best to not direct link to the CPA offer, but instead you can create a frame box for the offer that redirects off your actual website. With your 10 articles written for azinarticles.com, then the next step is to write 10 more articles, but this time these articles will be submitted to the other directories. You can mass submit these articles to as many directories as you want. Just ensure that these 10 articles differ from the ones you submitted to azinarticles.com. You repeat this process for every CPA offer niche that you have. By utilizing this technique you are giving link juice to your niche CPA offer blogs, along with being able to achieve a few sales by direct linking to your CPA offer through a frame redirect. It is a great way to utilize the power of article promotion. Another tip that is very important is to review the top articles and authors within the niche you are promoting. For example, if your offer is also eBerry, then your niche may be weight loss, so you would want to review the top authors in that category along with the top articles in that category to follow what they are doing to ensure you receive as much views as possible. If you write your articles targeted to specific buyer and long tail keywords, there is a good chance your article can rank in the top 10 under those specific keywords. To further increase your chances of your articles ranking high, you can take it a step further by social bookmarking each article you submit. All right, friends. So this video was talking about article marketing, which is one of the techniques you can use to get some traffic to your CPA offers. And uh, I've used this in, in the past and had some success with it. 
it's pretty old school marketing technique, but hey, man, it still could work. And you, I know you're just hustling and trying to get your your side business off the ground. So it's good work you can do to help you out with your business. So you might as well try it. And I'm actually going to do a full length video in the future about article marketing. So please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get uh, informed about that video when it comes out about article marketing and how that works and uh that's definitely a solid way to get some traffic and uh this is going to be a really long video i have all kinds of information about cpa marketing and ways to get ahead in cpa marketing there's still a few videos left so please stick around and uh, continue watching and let's watch our next video now creating review sites one of the more popular ways of making money with CPA is to create review based sites these sites act as a way of recommending a product this is done by actually researching the various products you will be promoting and conducting keyword research to see how many people are searching for a review on the particular product for example, if you are promoting a product called Acai Berry Blast, then your site would be set up to write a review for that product along with other Acai Berry products. Your entire site is geared around writing reviews based on the main niche, which in this case is Acai Berry. That is basically what review sites are all about. Your goal is to find at least three products within the niche, and rate, and review the three products. Of course, your CPA offer product should be ranked the best among the three products. The review needs to appear as natural as possible, so you do not overhype any of the products or totally belittle any of the products. You try to sound as objective as possible while pointing out the pros and cons of each product. Once you've finished with your review, now you will have a site that provides what the people are searching for, which is reviews on specific products. There are scripts you can use to set this up, but for ease of use, you can simply use WordPress again to create these review sites. You can also simply create a simple HTML template for the review site as well, since the site will just be based on these reviews and nothing more. Just remember that after reviewing all the products, that you then give a final conclusion and list your recommended product which will be your CPA offer. PPC Jumpstart when you are setting up a PPC campaign for promoting CPA offers it can be a hit or miss depending on the campaign being promoted. That is why it's going to be critical that you do some split tests when promoting your CPA offers, as some offers will convert while others may bomb. The first network that I like to test my offers with is Google AdWords. It is fast and easy to get set up, and you could start seeing conversions quickly if you have a winning campaign. The most important aspect though of your PPC campaign will be how much you pay per click for your ad and this will be based off your niche. If we try the example like before which was Acai Berry then the competition in the niche for PPC is fierce, so to get any exposure you will need to be prepared to place a high bid. The bid range for the keyword can range from $1 to $4 per click on average. Your bid amount though can drop if you utilize the buyer keywords as mentioned earlier in the report. The keywords that focus on specific product names will usually have a lower per click rate than the generic terms. The searches may be less but the per click rate will be lower and should be less competition in general. Your main competition will perhaps be from those trying to promote the product as well. For Google AdWords PPC it is best to use the Google Keyword External Tool, ULL Find Keywords with a low CPC that are still receiving enough traffic to warrant bids. Your goal will be to get as many of these keywords as possible, and when combined these keywords can give you enough traffic to generate a good income from your CPA offers. For example if you are promoting an email submit offer about free movie tickets, then why not research the top movies coming out in the next few months and place bids on the keywords related to those movies. There are sites where you can review the upcoming movies and place bids on those keywords and receive targeted traffic. The CPC will be low and the conversion can be high and since your CPA offer is about getting free movie tickets in it as targeted to your niche. When you create your ads for PPC with Google it is best to have your ad units tightly knit together in terms of the keywords. 
Do not stuff each ad group with a bunch of keywords that do not relate to each other. For example you take your main ad group keyword, which in this case we LL say is biosity and within that ad group all the words will be about biosity. You can have keywords such as biosity online or biosity supplements. The ad group would have these types of ads within the group under that main keyword term. ULL also create a variety of ads within the group to match the keywords. Finally, once your ad groups are targeted and created, the landing pages for each of your ad groups need to be relevant. This means that for best results and to achieve a high quality score from Google, that your landing page be set up to target the keywords within your ad group. The more targeted your landing pages to your ad group, the better your quality score will be for your Google PPC campaign. Keep in mind that with your quality score, it means in the long run your cost per bid will drop, which is the ultimate goal. You want to pay as little as possible for the traffic you receive, so you will need to make the extra effort to keep your ad groups targeted along with your landing pages. Keep testing your campaigns, and eliminate the ad groups that are not performing or having a poor CTR. If you keep ads with poor CTR, click-through ratio, it will have an adverse effect on your entire campaign. So you will want to continue to tweak your ads until you've reached an optimal CTR. Always remember that with PPC and S not a set and forget method until you really truly have a winning ad. To achieve this it will take testing, ULL have some winners, and ULL have some losers. This information is primarily for Google, but it can work the same in the other ad networks as well. Okay friends, so this video was talking about ads and buying advertising. And this can get really tricky, buying ads, you got to figure out how much you're paying cost per click, and then what your conversion rate is, so to make sure that you're, you're ultimately profiting. And this is where, but this is where the big bucks start happening for your business, where you put $1 in and get $3 out or whatever. It's all math and figuring out the math and everything. And, uh, but you know, if you, if you can get there, like you're gonna have a real legit business. I thought that was really interesting what they were talking about, about movie tickets and how you can get an offer that, that will do free movie tickets. And then you can do blogs and stuff about upcoming movies to get people hyped about going to the movies. And then they get their free tickets and stuff. I think MoviePass had an affiliate offer for a while. And that's what I do for my movie tickets is MoviePass. And I love going to the movies. But anyways, this is about buying ads and stuff on Google. And there's lots of other places to buy ads search engines and stuff you get you find you figure out your proper uh keyword research and what your long tail keywords are that are gonna be worth bidding on and hopefully eventually i'll do a video on keyword research because like i say i have several different methods i use but uh you can definitely use just use the google tool and now, finally, we only have one more video to watch on CPA marketing. And by this point, you should have a, like, you should be really stoked and have a plan on what you're going to do. And as far as CPA marketing and how you're going to make money. And let's go ahead and watch the last video now. Promoting via social marketing. MySpace and Facebook both started as a way for people to keep in touch with their friends family, meet new people and basically for people to network with each other. With millions of people being members of these two social networks, it has become somewhat of a gold mine for marketers. Both Facebook and MySpace have developed advertising platforms that now allow you to market your offers to their audience. By opening up their platforms to advertisements people can now target their offers to specific audiences. With MySpace, you can get started pretty easily. You can get started for as little as $25 and start driving targeted clicks to your CPA offers. Before you rush off and start your campaign, you should first take note that the audience for MySpace tends to be a younger audience, 
so it may be harder to sell them on actual products where they have to spend money. Therefore when going through your CPA offers, it's best that you focus on offers that match my SpaceX audience. Since you can select the demographics, you can even target the older folks on my space, that way you can target those who are more willing to spend money. From my experience I would only market products where you have to spend money to those over the age of 30, especially if you're going to be promoting weight loss related CPA offers. Another tip for MySpace is that you want to come original with your campaign. Your ad should be set up in such a way that it feels like you are talking directly to the person viewing the ad. Do not make it into a pitch such as lose 10 pounds in 2 days but instead you can say are you struggling to lose weight. This is a more effective title and in the body of the message you would highlight that you've been there as well, and mention that you found a product that worked well for you. That it can be pretty efficient on MySpace. The same goes for Facebook as well. You have to wait for your ads to be approved by Ad Manager. The best way to figure out what types of ads are being accepted on Facebook is to actually log into your Facebook account and review the ads being displayed. It is very possible that you will see a few CPA offers being promoted, and since Facebook is so large, you can directly compete for a piece of the pie by promoting that same offer. It is very important that your ad is very enticing, since Facebook places a lot of relevance on CTR. If your ad is having a good CTR then they'll all show your ad more often. If they show your ad to thousands of people, and it is not receiving any clicks, your ad may be buried. This means fewer impressions, which by default will result in little to no clicks. Therefore it will be crucial that the ad you create is very thought-provoking and really enticing enough that the user will want to review what you have to offer. A lot of campaigns for good offers die quickly due to having a poor title, so take the time to review the offers you are seeing each day. If you see the same ad popping up often, it may mean that the title works, the offer is converting, and therefore you can duplicate it. Okay, friends, so that was the last video. And I almost cut this shit out of the video because it's about MySpace and old. But it's kind of a fun trip down memory lane. I finally, I fondly remember MySpace. And I really liked it. I actually liked it better than Facebook, the old school MySpace. But then they changed trying to be more like Facebook and fucking just lost any... Uh, advantage they had over Facebook in my opinion so nowadays you'll want to do Facebook ads and I've done Facebook ads and they're really easy to do and you can just drive traffic to your blog where where you have banners and links to your CPA CPA offers and then you use the techniques you've learned throughout this pr presentation like doing a review blog or our, our PLL articles or whatever route you decide to go through as far as ways to make money with CPA. But uh, I hope this was really educational. hope you learned a lot. And please subscribe and like and comment. And if you're watching on Roku, which is where I'll probably eventually put this content, then uh, thanks so much. And definitely keep watching. And CPA, man, do it, do it. I'm going to go right now and go through my emails, find a CPA offer, and drop that link, man. Because, hey, man, it's, you know, it's money. And one thing I've learned, and I really learned this a lot doing the, uh, the punk rock thing when I was a punk rocker is that it's really fun to have a hobby, but it's even more fun when you have a hobby that makes you a little extra money. You know, whether you're getting a couple extra coffees, a few extra beers, or whatever. If you can make it make a little extra money with your hobby, it's even better. So why not hook up with CPA Marketing and uh, make some extra money with your hobby? And thanks so much. Please keep watching. And that's all. Here at Mormo International, we love our fans. They are the most intelligent, passionate, and fiercely independent individuals on this planet. 
That's why we strive to bring them the very best of underground entertainment in movies, music, magic, and zines. We realize that concepts like making a profit and breaking even are old fashioned. That's why you will receive our products for little to no charge. So join Mormo on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, and always remember... Ours the magic, ours the power.